Hey and welcome, I'm Solo and this is CN Gaming. In this video, I'll be going over how you can let your viewers change your voice using voice mod and streamer bot. Incorporate voice mod into your Twitch stream. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. If you don't already have streamer bot installed, let's just jump over to streamerbot.com. If you search for it in Google, it should be the first link. Once we're here, just click the streamer bot and it should automatically start downloading over here. When it's done downloading, we're going to give it a click and we want to actually go to it because we don't want it to be in this here folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to place this here on our desktop and we're going to extract it here. This should make it easier for us to find. We're going to close that out. We're going to put this here. Now we can delete the zip folder. We no longer need that one. And we're going to double click on this here. We're going to scroll down until we find the one with the icon that says streamer.bot. It'll be the one that says application. We want to right click on it, go down to show more options, send to desktop and create shortcut. This is just going to be a lot easier for us to launch it every single time we launch OBS. The unzip is the install process, so you don't have to install it like a normal application. You just have to extract it, and once you click this here, it'll it'll launch up for the first time. Once that's done, all we need to do is double click on it to launch it, and we're going to click more info and click run anyways. Now this might look very complicated, but I assure you it's not. And once you have it set up the first time, you're not going to need to worry about it anymore. To get started, we're just going to go over here to the platforms tab. And down here, we're going to go all the way over here to where it says accounts. We want to make sure that we click login with our account. It's just going to go over here to Twitch and ask you to authenticate your account. Just click authorize. Then StreamerBot will say successfully logged in. This will just make sure that you have a broadcaster account connected. This is going to give us all the options we need to be able to change our voice with channel rewards. Next, we're going to need to jump over here to stream apps. Now this is going to be a spot where we're going to connect it to OBS so that we can control things in OBS. So for this, I'm going to jump over to OBS. We're going to click on tools and we're going to go down here to WebSocket server settings. This is going to be very simple. We just need to click enable WebSocket and the server port is going to be 4455, enable authentication. And now you can generate a password. And if you need to see it, you show contact information. It's going to show your server, your port and your password. We can just click copy here just to make it easier for us. So we're going to click copy and then give this here all a close. We're going to click apply here and click OK. And over here, it's the same thing. We're just going to click add. Now, this here can be anything. We're going to call this here streaming uh, version 5, uh, port 4455, and the password. We're just going to paste it here. Now, we need to click auto connect on startup and reconnect on disconnect and click OK. The next thing we need to do is just give it a right click, go down here and click connect. Once it connects to OBS, you'll be able to see that the current scene and you'll be able to see all the sources. If you see that, you know it's set up correctly. If not, go back and make sure that you have everything correctly set. Next, we need to install voice mod. But if you already have voice mod installed, you can definitely skip this here step. For us, we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to go over to Google. We're going to type in voice mod. We're going to click the first link. When it loads up, we're going to click on the get voice mod. And this is going to have something the same. It's going to say, please log in with your account. We're going to log in with our Google account this time, but I definitely suggest you log in with your Twitch account. I already had one previously set up with my Google, so that was an accident on my part. Definitely sign in with your Twitch. Once it signs in, it's going to bring you to an automatically download page. Now it's going to download voice mod installer 1.1. This is going to be version 3 voice mod. We actually want, we want to make sure that we download the version 2 voice mod not the version 3. So once it's downloaded, we're just going to give it a click and go through the install process. Click yes. Next, click next, agree, click next, next and next. Pretty easy, pretty simple install each time. This should only take a few minutes and it'll be done. Voice mod will take a few minutes to install. It does hang on the last page for a few minutes. I assure you it's not frozen. Just give it a couple minutes. It will go. Grab a cup of coffee, use the bathroom. I assure you it will go. It just does take a couple of minutes. Once it's done, we're just going to click finish to launch voice mod. If this is your first time logging into voice mod, we are going to need to click the get started and go through the setup process. Once we click the get started, it'll go through this here process and reload up your voice mod. Okay, once it loads up, we're just going to give this here website a close down. And we're going to go down through here and select content creation. There's a few things that you can select here. There's TTRPG. So if you're just using it for something like GTA, maybe you'd select this. But if you're using it on a stream, you're definitely using it for content creation. Even if you're not creating videos or anything, your stream is content. So select that one and click continue. Now it's going to ask you to connect your headphones for the best experience. Click continue. Okay, we should be able to hear ourselves. Okay, we heard ourselves and we heard the sounds, so that means everything is set up correctly. If you didn't hear those sounds exactly the same way, you will have to set things up correctly. That just means one of your audio devices is not set up. 
At this here page, we can just click explore sounds and it's gonna load up the voice box. It's gonna go through the small tutorial. It's gonna take you through and show you the sounds. We're just gonna skip this here, but feel free to read through all of this here stuff. We're just gonna click the X. Now the page on here that we actually have to go down to is called creators. This is gonna be different in version three than in version two. So that's why we're using version two. Just click creators. And in here, we're gonna have voice mod live or partnership program. We wanna click the voice mod live and make sure that we connect it to our Twitch. So in here, you are gonna to have to click connect to a Twitch account. Uh, mine is already set up because it's connected to my Twitch account. So when it logged in, it automatically, it skipped that there process. But if it doesn't say connected, definitely make sure to click connect to Twitch account, log in with your Twitch account. And when you're done there, you can go down here. It has step one, two, and three. You can get extension. So this is for if you want your chat to be able to spend bits on changing your voice. You can just go through the configurator here and you'll be able to add it as a panel on your stream. So all you'll need to do is go in through here and just set it as a panel as I've done here. Just set it as panel one. It'll be over here. You can just click activate set as panel one. It's super easy and convenient. We're just gonna close that down. That's something that you can use if you want, but that's not what we're gonna be using it for today. Now we're just gonna go back here to the voice box and in here, each one of these here voices, you'll be able to add a keybind. So if you're using this in other applications like games, uh, YouTube videos, or in any other way, you can actually just set these here as hotkeys. So at a press of a button, you'd be able to change it at any time. Or if you were playing a game like GTA, you'll be able to click one of these here on. And as long as you change your mic in game, it will always be the voice that you select. But that's it for voice mod. I just wanted to make sure that I covered the hotkeys before we jumped onto the next part. So now we're just gonna jump back over to StreamerBot and we're gonna go to the integration tab. In here, the third one over is going to say voice mod. So this is going to be super easy. We just want to click on auto connect, auto reconnect, and then connect to voice mod. And that's really it. We're connected to voice mod. Now we will be able to use StreamerBot to control our voice mod. This is going to let us make channel rewards and channel points that have access to be able to change the voices in voice mod. And it can actually do so, so, so much more. But let's not jump too far ahead of ourselves. Let me show you how easy it is to add rewards to change your voice, something simple. We're going to go over here back to the platform tab. And down here, we're gonna click in channel points rewards. So if you select Twitch and channel point rewards, you're gonna have a couple of things in here you can do. You can just click add. We wanna add a random voice. So we're gonna name this one here, random voice. And we're gonna put this here in the description or the prompt as well. And that's it. We're just gonna click okay from here. It's gonna add us a random voice, mod, but we don't need to do anything in here. We don't actually have to do anything in here. The next thing we're gonna need to do is jump over here to the actions tab. Once we're on the actions tab, we're not going to have anything in here, but all we need to do is click add and we're going to name this one here, random voice. And in group, we're going to type in voice mod. This is just going to make it easier so that anything that we have with rewards related to voice mod, we're going to be able to put it in the voice mod group. Everything else can stay default and click okay. Now that we have the command, all we need to do is add a trigger and a sub action or two. So in the triggers, click on random voices, go over here to triggers and go down here to Twitch. This is going to have a spot that says channel rewards. We want a channel reward redemption. Now this is going to give us a drop down menu and all we have to do is find the random voice that we already made. So every time we want a different reward, all we have to do is go to that page and we can name it anything. We don't need to do anything in there except for have the name for us to select from the drop down menu and just click okay. Now in the sub actions, this is where we actually make it do what we want to do. And this is even going to be easier again because it's going to have its own integrated functions. So for us, we can just right click in sub actions, go down to integrations and go down here to voice mod. And we're going to use select random voice or select voice. These will be the two that you should be using the most. Um, the select the random voice is just gonna be for this here example, but select the voice is gonna be the one that I would definitely suggest using. We're gonna select this here, select random voice. And in here, we're gonna have a drop down menu that's gonna have all voices, free voices, favorite voices, or custom voices. For us, we're gonna select the free voices. Now, if you're paying for voice mod, you can actually select all voices and get a lot more options. For this example, we're just gonna use free voices only because it's more accessible to everybody. But if you're actually thinking about picking up voice mod i actually will leave a link in the description below i do get a kickback for the link but it really does help out the channel so if you're interested in checking it out or if you're interested in purchasing voice mod definitely check out the link in the description below after that just click okay and now we want to add a delay so the next thing we're going to do is go down to core and click a delay why we want a delay is because we want to make sure that we have a length of time we're going to say five seconds we're going to add a five second delay i think that's pretty good but
but you can definitely change this from 5, 10, or 15. I wouldn't go over 15 seconds. I think that's a little bit long. If you have it for really cheap and people spam it, it will cause a little bit of an issue. So five seconds I think is good and click OK. Now we want this here to turn off as well. So for the next one, we're going to go down to integrations. We're going to go down to voice mod and we're going to go down to the one that I suggested at first, the select voices. For this one here, we can go down and select any of the voices that are there. But the one we want to look for is called clean. So we'll look for the one called clean and select it and click OK. What this here does is this here is the exact same here as it cleans. It changes your voice back to normal. If your chat changes it to this one here, it doesn't have a way to change it back except for to change it back to the clean. So that's the one that we want to make sure that is selected for the bottom. That's as simple as it is. You'll have a reward now in your channel points. You want to make sure that you go over and check to see if it's in your rewards. And I scroll down a little bit and see random voice. It's only for one coin and all you want to do is make sure that you give it a click and test it. Make sure that your voice does change. And if you can't hear it, you, there is a way in the voice mod that you can click hear yourself. So when you're testing it, you can see it changing here. Let's just give it a test. So it changed to the AI voice. It should stay there for five seconds and then change back to the clean. But as you've seen, uh, five seconds might have been a little bit too long. So definitely play with that a little bit and find where it's best for you. You might only want three or four seconds. Five seconds might be a little bit too long to have a voice on. Definitely test it and find what preference that you like and change it to whatever it is you like best. It's easy as coming in here and double clicking it and changing it to whatever you want. And this here command is very easy to reproduce. Every single time that you want to change it, all you'll have to do is go to platform. It's as easy as add in voices, prompt, voices, click OK, go over to actions, click add, voices, and then went from the select down voice mod, click OK, bam. Now all we need to do is repeat this here with a voice, which was simple as clicking here, going down to the Twitch, going down to the channel rewards, reward redemption, selecting the voices that we just barely made. We only have a couple, so this is going to be easy to find, clicking OK. And same thing again, all we have to do, integration, voice mod, select a voice, and then select the voice. Whatever free ones you have, if you happen to not know what ones are free, you can definitely keep this here open while you look. So you know magic chords, 8-bit, custom pitch. These ones here are the free ones and you'll be able to select them to the drop down menu. They might be a little bit of a headache to find, but I think that's gonna be the hardest part. They're all in alphabetical order, so you should be able to find most of them a fairly easy. But then click OK, add the core, click in the delay. We'll put it for three seconds this time. And then it's just repeat the process one more time for to add the voice mod, select a voice. And this one here, we want to be clean. It's in alphabetical order. Seize. Click OK. You're done. There's two commands. And you see how fast it was the second time? Once you have these here things installed, you can just repeat this over and over and over again for every single one of the voices. And now if you only have the free one, you're only going to have a selection of this here many voices. If you have the paid one, you're going to have the selection of every single one of the voices. So that's something that you find value in. Definitely check out the link in the description below. I will appreciate it. But that's it for this one here. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found the video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye.